Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Let the cast fall where they may. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to some of you guys. Um, this is your general, your general love reading for May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped. Okay, so this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that. It will bring you to the uh, start of the reader. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes... You know, sometimes there just could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to take these in and I'll be right. So, Aquarius, let's start the reading. Of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side. Personally, you're dealing with over here, but you could always. Flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and as you can see, there's extra cards. I just needed to clarify some of the cards in this uh, spread. And of course, if this doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your other readings for the month, uh, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak or as I speak. So let's start your reading. So just touch it on the past. As you guys know, I like to kind of touch on the past and see where you guys are coming from. So it seems like there was some something around a big transformation the death of the old and a rebirth of the new so a huge transformation with death cards showing up as a center card uh, it seems like this person maybe reached out to you communicated with you with the eight of, of wands there which is a communication card so it seems like maybe they reached out to you or approached you regarding something which they felt was you know uh, there, there was victory around that for them Definitely feel like that communication was successful. There was victory. They feel like there was uh, very much victorious around around that communication. And for you, you know, it's like, okay, well, this is an opportunity for, for, for me and for us to create something, something new. And I'm willing to put in the work to be able to do that. So it seems like, you know, the past was more about this transformation. And you guys, maybe this could be a recycling of an old relationship or an old relationship. That sounds a bit off. Of a... <laughs> Maybe you open like a recycle. Um, uh, how do I put that? Uh, maybe you broke up or there's some form of separation or, or some turbulence there and you decided to kind of come back again to, to build on this relationship, which brings us to where we are at the moment. Seems like you're not out of the, the, the woodwork. So you're not out of the, 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 the forest <laughs> um, with the strength card there. So there seems to be some stuff that's going on around this connection or within this connection which is really causing you guys to feel like it's testing this relationship but with the fact that there's the strength card as the center uh the current state it didn't regardless of what you're feeling because you are feeling a bit stuck with the hangman there stuck unable to maybe move forward or uh, yeah there's something around you feeling stuck and this person is it's like they're connecting to their higher self or they're receiving some form of intuitive guidance in some way shape or form regardless of what's going on though regardless of the turbulence or what's happening at the moment this relationship this connection can withstand that with a strength card there regardless of what it seems like regardless of what it feels like it can actually withstand that um yeah it's strong enough to be able to to to, to, to move through this i want to put that out there because for you, it's like, 
I'm thinking about loyalty. I'm thinking about reliability. I'm thinking about this King of Cups, which talks about the King of Cups is very much a family type of man. Family, reliable, loyal, emotionally mature. And that's what you're wanting. You're wanting a stable relationship with this person. But there is, and you just wanted to move forward. But there is you feeling a bit stuck or up in your head around this. Certain questions, certain things you want answered. Certain things you're not sure about with the hermit card there but you just wanted to move forward your challenge is is that high priestess card is actually turning this into something exclusive even marriage i would go so far as to say even marriage is a weighted element to this again we're going back to the hangman and then we have the three of wands which talks about having made a decision because the two is is about making a decision but the three is about okay so now I'm waiting for something to happen or waiting uh, for my ships to come in or the green light. I've not reached the destination yet. So that's the that's in your challenge. Waiting for a change. Waiting for a change. Trying to uh, balance your emotions around that. Trying to balance your thinking around that as well. Like I said, this relationship is going through something which it might feel like to you that you can't withstand it or the relationship is you know, but you can, the strength card's there. So that gives you some reassurance, regardless of what's happening at the moment. Well, with your person, your person is very much, I want to say drunk the Kool-Aid, but they're focusing on, how do I put that? Hmm. They're focusing on, because usually within this deck, we're talking about the four of cups, which usually for me talks about, you know, focusing on everything that's going wrong, uh, not really seeing that one remaining cup, but within this deck, it's all about focusing on that one remaining cup. So there is a positive element to this for them. However, I say, however, there is some fixing, some healing that needs to be done. It's not there yet because we do have the sun in their challenge. So there's certain aspects of this relationship, of this connection that needs healing, that needs fixing, that needs... um. Yeah, it needs fixing. It needs heat. Maybe there's some communication. Maybe you guys need to sit down and actually really put everything on the table and have some form of conversation, like a real conversation where you both get to express, you know, what's really going on for you in terms of your thoughts and your feelings. Because there's something around something needing healing. And that makes sense based on where you guys are coming from, whatever happened in the past, which caused this transformation feels like you're very much in a rocky place or a rocky space. However, this person wants emotional fulfillment and they're wanting love as well. So I don't feel like you both don't want this. You do want this. I mean, look at yourself as well. There's an element of drive. Highly attractive. This person could be really, really attractive as well. But you're looking long term. You're wanting long term. You're wanting long term. I just feel like there are just some things that need to be ironed out in this connection in order for you guys to move move forward in a more balanced space where you're both more aligned naturally sometimes you know we go through relationships or we go through situations within our relationships where you know we need to yeah we, we face turbulence and, and challenging times and we just need to iron those out and move through them but i'm gonna say and i'm very much positive about this the strength card lets me know that this connection can a hand or whatever it is that's being thrown at this relationship, whether it's coming from the outsiders, whether it's coming from within, uh, you guys can handle it. And you, you have more than, how do I put that? Um, you're more than able to move through this with the strength card there. With the strength card there. You know, you both want it ultimately. You both want it ultimately. There just needs to be a bit more time. It needs to be a bit more healing. And I feel like the conversation, yes, you've had a conversation in the past, but I feel like that was just, just reconnect you both to, um, yeah, I feel like that's more about reconnecting. There's a, a definite big conversation that needs to be had. Some form of conversation where you both need to just iron out some details. Really, I feel like you're a bit more, conf mm. this person knows more than you in terms of, I feel like you're ready this person is like, okay, I just need certain things. I need to express certain things or I need to know certain things. Yeah. I'm going to just pull on this before we 
Usually we'll move into part two of the reading where we kind of get an idea, see where this moves to, what happens next. I will be implementing that next week, guys, so look out for that. Just having some technical issues at the moment. It's taken me a while to get this reading out. So uh, I attempted three times. So, uh, but we here. we here. All right, so... Okay, so there's a, you do have a bit of judgment, and that's simply coming from a place of, with the karma card there. Karma card in this deck is the judgment card. Um, uh, I feel that's simply coming from you not knowing. You not knowing. There's certain things that you just don't know. Trying to figure out as well with the King of Swords, uh, but still this element of uh, patience and understanding. Yeah, because you're looking long-term with this person. You're looking long-term with this person. Maybe this person holds back a bit as well. So maybe you might need to approach them in terms of just finding out what's going on uh, in terms of, yeah, what's really going on for them internally when it comes to this. So hopefully this has given you some full clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. I will be implementing the singles next week, guys. Very exciting to look out for that. Um, other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.